Huge shout out to the sponsor of today's video, Valencia Theater Seating. If you're interested, you can find a discount link below. Okay, so I had a few dreams growing up. One was to be a Steven Spielberg level director, and that's probably not going to happen. But dream number two was to have my own movie theater room. And recently, my wife and I were fortunate enough to buy our first home, and we were so excited. She's like, let's work on the kitchen and the bedroom. And I said, you know what? I want to make a movie theater room. So she granted me access to our entire basement that was pretty big but a little bit bland and boring, so I decided to split it up into two parts. Part number one, my YouTube studio and a place to put all my pop figures. We're still polishing a few things here and there, but I'm fairly happy with that. But come on, we gotta get started on the movie theater room, which means we have to turn this into something special. So the question is, where are we going to start? What is step one? I've gotta finish painting. And I hate painting, especially these basement, base, cinder block, block, block prison, prison cell walls. walls. Step one, we bought the house. But step two, I wanted to work on this movie theater room first thing. Well, my studio, which we finished, but the movie theater room was a big, a massive step. You know what? I'm not even close to there yet. We're like one third of the way through, but what we're talking about today was a big portion, a big piece of what this movie theater room is going to be. Also, I'm just flinging this thing around. I'm lying to you, there's no paint. I've not actually been painting. It's all part of the video. And obviously everyone's setup is going to look and feel different. You have to work with what you have. And the giant television, the amazing sound system, the red movie theater curtains, all of those things are coming. And we'll talk about those in future videos. But today I wanna to talk about maybe the most integral piece of the puzzle, at least for what we are doing, and that is the movie theater seating. And from what I found, Valencia Theater Seating is the best in the business. They've been doing this since the year I was born, 1995. What does that say about me? And according to my wife, I actually have to start painting. So let's take a look and see what these theater seats are all about. Okay, so as you can see, I still haven't finished painting. My wife's gonna kill me. I wanted to go with a bit of a darker gray, not too dark, but something to supplement the potential movie theater room. But what I wanted step one to be beyond that is to implement the movie theater seats that will be appropriate for my movie theater room. Now, we'll be adding more, absolutely, but I wanted to start simple. I wanted to start with two Tuscany Valencia theater seats. I also wanna say thank you to Valencia for sponsoring today's video, but I told them I wanted to be as honest as possible so you know you're getting your money's worth with these seats. Now, like I said, this is a very trustworthy company with high-rated products, beautifully designed chairs, and in my opinion, it was kind of the perfect route to go to start my long journey ahead to create the perfect place for my wife and I, and friends, if I had any, uh, to watch movies together. And just by taking a look at these seats, not only the beautiful design, but the leather exterior, you know they're going to be legit. My favorite thing as a kid was walking into these crazy large movie theaters that I had never been to before, because I was born and raised in Eastern Kentucky, and you see these reclining leather seats for the first time, cup holders. Sometimes you get the table extension. I moved to a bigger city. I realized that movie theaters, they'll actually serve you food and you can eat during the movie. My mind was blown. I had no clue when I was young that you could watch movies in such comfort. And that's something that I wanted to bring to my movie theater room. And before we take a more detailed look at the chairs, I wanted to show you guys the unboxing process and how simple it was. Only 20 minutes, well, 40 minutes of goof off time with my brother and I, and then 20 minutes of construction. So I got this left side in, Josh, can you see that right side there? Alright, let's do it! 
Just do it! Do it! Did I ever tell you about the time? Oh, fuck it. I'll only bring this up because Scooby Doo or something. I'm on Tippet. Cow Tipping. Flip those two metal pieces out. That's why I have you, so I can use you. So the big question is, do the seats live up to the hype? Are they as nice as they are presented to you on screen? And I will admit, part of me was a bit worried because when you sit back right here, I had a little bit of uh, concern as to the comfort of not only my back, but also kind of the angle at which I'm going to be watching my movie. Because when you sit all the way back, and I'm gonna remove this baby Yoda pillow because it's kind of just getting in the way. I'm thinking to myself, well, I know it's going to be a projector screen, right? And I'm most likely going to be having to do this while watching the film. So how am I going to achieve this level of comfort? Fun fact, I actually broke my back when I was in high school, so I have neck problems. Thankfully, Valencia does give you the option to kind of extend this portion out right here so you can kind of get there and at the same time your back doesn't feel too uncomfortable. That kind of checked that box, which was my biggest concern when first sitting in the seats. My other big concern was lumbar support, and thank God they give you the option to kind of push out that middle portion of your back just a little bit, uh, because even though you will have to have an arch at points while trying to get comfortable, there's also that comfort that comes from pushing your back out. And I know I'm getting really specific about your body, but hey, when I'm watching a movie, I like to be as comfortable as possible possible. So Valencia did a great job of kind of designing their chairs in a way and also having two armrests on both sides, at least with these Tuscany models. The most impressive part of what these chairs are able to do, and like I mentioned before, growing up and going to a movie theater for the first time seeing reclining seats. When I reclined for the first time in these seats, it was incredible to think not only am I doing this in my house, but I'm picturing what this setup is going to be here in a few months and it makes me so happy. Come on. Oh, it's, it's like every time. It's like a new experience every time. It's, it's incredible. Look at this. I'm going to be able to see it. That's amazing. Look at this. It's crazy. To be honest with you, the only issue I see here is if you are a bigger person, whether it be you weigh more or you are taller, the seat may not be big enough. Now, Valencia has other options and Maybe one day we will get to those. As of right now, this chair does a great job of seating someone of my height, which is around six foot, and my weight, which is around 180. Now you guys know how much I weigh, congratulations. So if you are someone that is bigger than that, the Tuscany seats may not be the best option because they may not have that level of comfort that you're looking for. But for most others, I think these seats are pretty much everything you will be looking for in terms of quality, the way that they feel, comfort, all of the things that matter when you're watching a movie. As for me, and just looking at what I needed, my first step in building my movie theater room, maybe I should have started with the DV, but you know what? Thanks to Valencia, I have achieved that level of comfort that I was looking for. So if 
if you guys are interested in these seats, the coupon link is down below. I appreciate your support on this, but I also want your feedback. What should be my next step in building this movie theater room? Whether it be a recommendation for a brand of television, what kind of curtain should I hang up, and how should I deck out this room? Movie posters, all of the goods. I appreciate your all support on this, whether it be a thumbs up down below or just a comment. And if you like these kinds of videos, let me know, and I would love to do more. All right, guys, you're truly the best. I'll see you soon.